standing in a garden, Roman. Or it was once Roman. Beneath your feet are stones or grass. Look at the wall. It is in front of you and it is solid. Around you in this garden are very strange things happening. Or they are not strange, but they are still happening. To your right, a walkway leads out through a gate and into traffic. There is a pub over there that has a clever name related to the wall. It's outside the wall, but capitalising on it anyway. To your left, the garden continues on down the hill until it comes to the River Dee. At night, it is locked to keep you out or to keep someone in to prevent vandalism or to keep people safe. A dark place at night is dangerous. In front of you is a wall. It has something on it. Another wall. A person. Or people moving into frame and then out. They are wanderers. They aren't on the wall. <laughs> they are in it. Or they are on it, but could be in it. If they are in it, how did they get there? There is a story about a man who goes into a wall and he has to remind himself not to breathe so he doesn't inhale the dust of the bricks and die from asphyxiation. Smart man. In front of you is a portal. A light projected onto a wall. An empty space. A metaphor. A memory. It is 2005 and you are in China. You are on a train. Transmanchuria from Russia. And you are passing through China. It has been a long journey and you have seen many things. Your sense of adventure is high. But you have seen so many incredible things that nothing is surprising anymore. You are a jaded traveller in a land that should be filled with mystery. You are on a train and you are passing scenery that could be from anywhere. Small stalls built near the train tracks are inhabited by men in uniforms. They stand and salute the train as it passes. The rumble of the tracks provides a comforting soundtrack of vibration under your feet. You are looking out the window, out the wall, but you are really looking nowhere. You are drifting, drifting, you are drifting and breathing. And then a shape catches your eye, colour. Eyes open wider, your focus becomes attuned to the passing worlds outside your window. You are seeing the long snake that curls its way around northern China. It is a disappointment and a wonder at the same time. You are a jaded traveller, but you see the coy old snake and it is beautiful. You cannot deny. You close your eyes and then open them again. And it is still there. You see the snake. You breathe the air. You are alive. You push the jaded scent having seen it all down 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 and you look again you are in a google map you are in a photo you are there in a place where something happened a long time ago it is not remote it happened here in front of you is a wall it is a portal it is a surface that keeps its secrets hidden under layers of dirt, the roots of plants, the marks of children. The light is projected onto the wall. It is an image, a lie, a metaphor, a dream. Breathe in the air, breathe in the night. Close your eyes and imagine you are in the wall. Where does it take you?